Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Terry Higgins from the Live, Love, and Laugh Show. And as you see, we are not in the studio, which is fine. We are going to get this fixed, okay? We're going to get this fixed, and we'll be back in the studio. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, we must continue on, all right, ladies and gentlemen? We must continue on. Ladies and gentlemen, they're at it again. They are at it again with Bill Cosby. We have five new women. Five new women accusing Bill Cosby of sexual assault. Ladies and gentlemen, let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask you a question. We, we're grown, okay? We're grown adults. If something happens to us, it's our job to let people know that something has happened to us. We cannot wait 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, whatever many years to tell people something happened to us. It's our job to let people know in a reasonable time when something happens to us so we can get the help we need. So people that have done something to us can get in trouble. But then you want to come out 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, whatever many years to let people know something happened to me. And you want us to believe you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be real with you. You come to me 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years later and tell me about some shit. I'm not going to believe you. It's going to be real hard for me to believe you. None of us are walking around here. Walking around here, carrying around 20, 30, 40, 50 year DNA. To prove a rape. We just not. We, we do. And if you are carrying around, you have a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the story, shall we? Can we get into the story? Let's get into the story. All right. Bill Cosby is being accused of sexual assault by five women, including two Cosby Show actors, okay? Two Cosby Show actors. Bill Cosby is facing more legal turmoil for alleged sexual assault more than a year after he was freed from prison in 2021. In a lawsuit filed Monday in New York State Court, five women, including Cosby Show actors Lily Bernard and Eden Turrell, claimed they were sexually abused or assaulted by the former television star. The Associated Press reported Tuesday, Bernard Turrell, Sindra Ladd, who previously spoke out about Cosby's alleged behavior, are suing the actor alongside additional plaintiffs, Joel Giddens and Jennifer Thompson, under New York's one-year window for adults to file sexual abuse complaints. The suit via The Hill also claims NBC and television companies Kaufman Astoria Studios and Carsey Werner Television are culpable and liable for Cosby's alleged sexual assault. The Cosby Show was filmed at Kaufman Astoria Studios, produced by Carsey Werner. It aired on NBC from 1984 to 1992. So, didn't they say something about under New York's one-year window for adults to file sexual abuse complaints? That's past a year, right? Am I, am I, am I getting this right? It's, it's been past a year. Cosby, okay. Cosby show aired from 1984 to 1990, 1992. It's 2022. It's about to be 2023. Okay, let's finish. In a statement to the Times on Tuesday, Cosby's representative Andrew Wyatt called the latest lawsuit frivolous. These alleged accusers were once represented by attorney Gloria Allred. I should have known. Gloria already, they, okay, all right. And were a part of parade of accusers back in 2014 through 2016. Okay, 2014 and 2016. Okay. As we have always stated, and now America can see, this isn't about justice for victims of alleged sexual assault. It's all about money. But we supposed to believe all women, right? This this is money scheme. They trying to they trying to get money. But let's let's finish. Let's finish. Let's finish. Why it's in an email statement. We believe that the courts as well as the court of public opinion will follow the rules of law and relieve Mr. Cosby of these alleged accusations. Mr. Cosby continues to vehemently deny all allegations waged against him and looks forward to defending himself in court. Representatives from NBC and Car C uh, Werner. Did not immediately respond to the Times' request for comment on Tuesday. Kaufman Astoria Studios could not be reached for comment. 
The 34 page lawsuit details multiple separate instances of alleged rape and drugging by Cosby throughout the 1960s and into the 90s. Several of the defendants alleged that Cosby 85 had placed an intoxicant in their beverages and raped them. The allegations were in line with those by women who had previously spoken out against Cosby. The suit alleges that Cosby threatened to blacklist one of the plaintiffs as she resisted his forceful sexual advances or spoke out against his behavior. The women say NBC Kaufman Astoria and Car C. Werner should have known that Bill Cosby was a danger to women and that the companies bestowed upon Bill Cosby power or the appearance of power to access the sexually abused to, to, to access and sexually abuse women. In September 2018, Cosby was sentenced to three to ten years in prison for sexual assault after multiple women, including Tamara Green and Victoria Valentino, came forward with the allegations of rape and drugging against the actor. Three years later, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned Cosby's sexual assault conviction due to a non-persecution agreement the comedian made with the Montgomery County District Attorney. Earlier this year, Cosby was ordered to pay $500,000 for sexually abusing Judy Huth at the Playboy Mansion when she was 16 years old in the 70s. This story originally appeared in Los Angeles Times. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, these cases that these women are bringing up on Bill Cosby, they did not just happen like yesterday. These cases, these women are coming out years later claiming that Bill Cosby did these things to them. Years later. And once again, I ask you this. Ladies and gentlemen, we're mature. We're grown adults. When something happens to you, you need to come out in a reasonable time so you can get the help. And the people that do these things to you can get, you know, prosecuted. So they can get, you know, pu uh, punished for the things they did to you. But you want to bring up some cases 10, 20, 15 years later. And you want us to just jump and say, oh, we believe you. I can't just sit and believe you. I need to, I need proof. How do people get prosecuted for things they did if you can't prove it? That's why we're in America. We're in America because you need to prove that I did something. You need to prove it. We just can't just jump and say, I believe every word somebody says. You need to be able to prove these things happen to you. We're in America. We don't live in Russia. We don't live in China. We don't live in all these other places. We live in America. We have to prove that you, that something happened to you. And prove that I did it. Or she did it. Or whoever did it. But you're going to wait 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years later to try to prove something that somebody did to you. No, I don't believe all women. I know women lie. Just like men lie. Just like children lie. We all lie. I can't just jump and believe you. I can't. I'm not, I can't just jump and believe the Me Too movement. Oh, Me Too, Me Too. What about us? Us two. Them two. No. You're going to have to be able to prove it. And you sitting around waiting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years later to, to, to accuse somebody of something is not very mature. It's very childish. Need to grow up. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we need to grow up. There are men out there that just sit here and just believe all women, thinking all women tell the truth. That's silly. Ladies, for, la for you ladies that have young boys, are you going to turn your back on, on your son? If a girl comes out and talk about that your son did something to her, you're going to turn your back on him? you just going to believe the female? That's not good. That's not good parenting. If you're going to believe a, 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 a girl accusing your son of something, if you're going to just believe her and not believe your son, you're not a very good mother. And for you men out here just believing all women, you have a problem. When are men going to start standing up for men? When are men going to start standing up for men? That's my, that's, that's a, that's a good question. Because I'm seeing a lot of men just turning their back, acting like, well, it can't be, what happened to me? Oh, no, it can happen to you. 
this kind of shit that's going on right now with this Me Too movement, it can happen to you. So don't think just because you protect yourself or you do whatever, 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 that you can't be caught. You could be caught. These women are charging Bill Cosby for some shit that happened 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago. And they have no proof. We're just going off of what they say. We know that everybody lies. And is there, there's a reason why they lie. Most of the time, it's because they want money. And like he just said, when I just read it to you, this is all about money. This ain't about no sexual assault. This is about money. This is a money grab. Where, where are the people that, that Bill Cosby helped? Bill Cosby... Bill Cosby made it possible for young black men and women to be able to, to show their talents, be actors, be comedians, all that. He gave money to um, HBCUs. Where are these people at helping Bill Cosby? They all just turned their, back, they turned their backs on Bill Cosby. Where is the gratitude? Where's the... Where's the help? There are people out there that were like, no, Bill Cosby would never do nothing like that. Never. Bill Cosby been around a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of people know who Bill Cosby actually is. And these people are not speaking up enough for Bill Cosby. I'm not going to say Bill Cosby is a, is a perfect man. I'm not going to say that. There's no such thing as perfect man. But I'm going to say this much. If, if Bill Cosby did do something to you, it's your obligation to tell people that this happened to you in a reasonable time. For, like I said, for you to get some help, for the person that did it to you, to be prosecuted for doing this thing to you. But for you to come out years later and try to, and try to frame somebody or whatever it is, you want us to believe it, it's not going to work for most of us. Oh, most of well, most people do believe all women. But some of us be like, come on now. R really? No. Realistically, in a, in, in a real realistic world where people have common sense, we're going to say no. This does not make sense. And I don't believe it. And you shouldn't either. This is a damn shame. Cosby is 90 something years old. And he should not be going through this. He should be at home resting. Resting. Enjoying being a grandfather. Great grandfather. Great, 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 great grandfather. I don't know what he got. But I know this is ridiculous. He shouldn't be going through this. The man should be enjoying his life. He's did a lot for the black community. He's did a lot. For black women, black men, young black men, young black women. He's done a lot. He's given a lot. He's donated a lot. And the things he gets is nobody speaking up to help him. We just turn their back or turn our backs on him. And that's disgusting. That's real disgusting. To see people sitting on TV talking about Bill Cosby. Oh, he's a rapist and all this. You don't know what he did. You weren't there. You're just going to sit and believe these women. <sighs> Come on now. We know women lie. And there are reasons why women lie. And there's reasons why men lie. And there's reasons why children lie. There's reasons. So just to think, just sit up here and say, oh, they, why are they lying for them? Come on now. There's reasons for a lot of people lying. <sighs> Sad, man. This is tragic. We need to get better, y'all. We need to speak up. Men, speak up. Speak up. This could be your son. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, this could be your son too. So what you, like I said, are you going to turn your back on your son? Just believe the woman that's accusing your son of this? Or something like this? There could be a reason why she's doing it. Fellas, there could be a reason why. There's always a reason why. You got to question the reason why. You just can't jump to, 
Oh, I know. No, there are reasons why people lie. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Terry Kiggins. You are at the Live, Love, and Laugh Show. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Like, share, comment, subscribe to EO Entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a beautiful day, man. It's a beautiful day. Enjoy the day. Enjoy your life. Live, love, laugh. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. God bless you, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you.